Projectiles were intercepted over Jerusalem Tuesday evening, as the Israeli military said Iran had fired missiles at Israel and warned Israelis to shelter in place. Air raid sirens are sounding across the country. The announcement on Tuesday followed warnings from a senior U.S. administration official that Iran was preparing to imminently launch a ballistic missile attack on Israel. Military spokesperson Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari released a video statement Tuesday saying, the air defense system is fully operational, detecting and intercepting threats wherever necessary, even at this moment. Soon after, a series of explosions were heard in Tel Aviv and near Jerusalem. It was not immediately known if they were interceptions or incoming missiles landing. The explosions near Jerusalem were so loud that windows shook. Okay guys, we gotta get off the roof. These are coming down right next to us here. They're coming down, one just about. We gotta go inside. The UK Defence Ministry has assessed the Russian Army's losses from Ukrainian strikes on ammunition depots in Tikoretsk and Toropets in Russia. According to British intelligence estimates, the total amount of ammunition destroyed at these depots represents the largest loss of ammunition supplied by Russia and North Korea during the war. The strikes will almost certainly cause, at a minimum, short-term disruption to Russian artillery and small arms munitions supplies, critical resources in a war of attrition dominated by mass fires, the intelligence report stated. According to the report, the strike on September the 18th likely destroyed at least 30,000 tons of ammunition in open and bunker storage. The ministry pointed out that these strikes illustrate that, despite the Russians deploying 
an extensive layered air defense system, including fighter jets around Ukraine, they continue to struggle against Ukrainian UAVs used in deep strike operations into Russia. The report added it is highly likely this will force further dispersals in the Russian logistics chain for fear of additional strikes, increasing the burden on an already stretched system. The attacks on military depots near Russian Torapets were carried out by Ukrainian drones. As Ukraine's presidential spokesperson, Serhii Nikiforov, remarked, the Russians will be the first to learn when the West approves strikes deep into Russian territory with missiles produced by the US and Europe. On the night of September the 29th, Russia reported drone attacks across seven regions. Ukrainian drones hit a missile and ammunition arsenal in Kotluban, Volgograd region, more than 600 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Despite being heavily protected by electronic warfare and air defense systems, Ukrainian units completed their mission successfully. A fire and detonation of ammunition were observed at the arsenal, the general staff of Ukraine added. The operation was conducted by the Ukrainian Unmanned Systems Forces in collaboration with units from the Special Operations Forces, the Main Directorate of Intelligence and the Security Service of Ukraine. Sources of various Ukrainian media indicated that the operation was coordinated by the main Directorate of Intelligence, Special Operations Forces, Security Service, Foreign Intelligence Service and Armed Forces of Ukraine. The strike destroyed Russia's arsenal of missiles, ammunition and explosives.